All right, many questions remain. More than two weeks after an attack on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya, killing four Americans, including Ambassador Chris Stevens. Chief among them, what did the intelligence community know? And when did it know it? And when and how was the Obama administration informed? Just into CNN, the National Intelligence Director is addressing both issues. Uh, let's get right to CNN intelligence correspondent Suzanne Kelly in Washington. Suzanne. Hi, Fred. This has been um, something of a political football that's been thrown around for a couple of weeks now as people really try to nail down what happened, when intelligence officials knew it. And this is the fullest accounting yet we're getting now from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence on exactly what they knew and when. I want to read to you from a statement by Sean Turner, and he's the, um, the Director of Public Affairs for the ODNI's office. And he said, in the immediate aftermath, there was information that led us to assess that the attack began spontaneously following protests earlier that day at our embassy in Cairo. Now, that's what we've been hearing from administration officials. We provided, I continue reading, we provided that initial assessment to executive branch officials and members of Congress who used that information to discuss the attack publicly. Now, the problem, of course, began when did people know that this was planned? When did they realize that this, was, that this actually had nothing to do with a, a protest, a spontaneous protest? Because as the intelligence community now believes, they do think that this was an intentional terrorist attack. In the words of Sean Turner, a deliberate and organized terrorist attack carried out by extremists. So what we're seeing here, Fred, I think is a, a lot of back and forth between members of Congress, between the White House, and now the intelligence community stepping back and saying, okay, this is what we knew, and this is, you know, it, they're not giving an exact timeline of when they knew it, but this is a general sense of when we knew these details. So you're seeing them kind of trying, I think, to take some of the air out of the, the politicalness of this debate over what happened and when. So is this very different from what we were hearing from the White House? And we were also hearing from, you know, Susan Rice and her explanation when she took to the airways the following Sunday after the attack saying, well, it could be spontaneous. It could be that it was spontaneous and then evolved into, uh, you know, something, a platform for those who were actually planning something. It almost sounds like they're saying the same things. Right? Right. It does. It does. And, and you know, this really, and that's, that's the political nature and how these stories can become so frustrating and how you take details and try to use them from one side to another. And I think that's the growing frustration that you're seeing within the intelligence community. And that's why you've seen such a comprehensive statement like this one put out. By the way, we're going to put this on our website, too, at CNN.com slash security clearance. And you should really take two seconds, go and read the whole thing. It's fascinating. Yeah. But you're exactly right. Susan Rice was out over the weekend talking about how the administration still believed, even on Sunday, a week and a half after the attack, that this was something that grew out of a spontaneous protest, yet there were already indications in the intelligence community at that time that that wasn't the case. Mm. And so that's been a point of debate, nailing down that timeline, which the intelligence community did, didn't quite go that far, mm. but nailing down that timeline is going to probably take a lot of air over uh, out of the politicalness of this. All right, Suzanne Kelly, thanks so much in Washington.